sort of uh, to walk through as a bill becomes a law, if you have a new procedure you want to have turned into a level one code and to be valued to get reimbursed by Medicare and Medicaid, that's really what we're talking about here. You have to have a level one code. Anybody can submit a code, not just any doctor, anybody. Like guy off the street wants to submit a code to CPT editorial board, they can do that. Now, ACOG's role in that is to be supportive, help you fill out the application, understand what the sort of, not just like what the requirements are, but understanding the politics of how this is going to potentially go. And ACOG joining you at the table is a very powerful statement that ACOG supports it versus I got this idea, I want to blow up all the hysterectomy codes and rewrite them. ACOG is going to think a little bit about it and they may say, you know what, we're actually thinking that's not great for our providers. And so then you're going alone up to the CBT editorial board to ask for this code, which is unlikely to be approved. So ACOG's role is not that we approve the code. ACOG doesn't sign off on anything and say this is a code or not. The CPT editorial board does, but ACOG's support in that process can be very helpful. And it's not just ACOG, it's ACS. If it's a surgical code, there's all these things. Yes. So so is the, is the RUC, like the RUC is separate from the, the CPT editorial board? Okay. So CPT is is, is like, is a, is, a, is, a, is a procedure code or not? That's all, right? So yes, it's, if, it, if it's a level one, it's a thing that we can now try to value. Once it's level one, then it goes to the RUC to get valued. And that, y'all sent me to one of those meetings and I thought I was being punished. <laughs> that, that, they're both interesting meetings, but the RUC is a closed door meeting. So the AMA was given the right to make the codes from the federal government, from CMS. CMS. C, the, the RUC is like, it's a closed door meeting where a bunch of doctors got in the room and said, how much is this stuff worth? And then the, they told the federal government that they said, okay, historically, right? They just sort of took their... In the very in, early in the days, very early I would days. say that that was true. RUC meetings are now open. Oh, okay, they are. Um, they're confidential, meaning that you have to sign up and you have to sign a confidential... I mean, think about this if you're a company. Your stock value will depend on recommendations that the RUC... May, may or may not accept. So it's it's highly confidential. People have to sign confidentiality agreements if they're going to participate in those meetings. But the meetings are not closed door with the cigarettes and the cigars and all that. Then the martinis. I got I got into I got in too late. Yeah, yeah. They were they were not like that when I got there either. But the job of the ruck is to take all. It's almost eight thousand codes now and rank order them, put them into some valuation strategy that makes sense. And so over the many years since 1992, the RUC has come up with a lot of systems to try to help us be really thoughtful and also consistent. So there are now consistent pre-surgical packages. You know, if you're doing a 90-day global surgery the pre-surgical package, like the work you have to do, will depend to some extent on how sick your patient is and some other things. So there are packages of things that we can just plop in for consistency. But the real, where the rubber meets the road is the interest service. What is this procedure? And so by law, RVUs are defined only by time and by intensity. And that is the law, which really hurts us when we do things like move things from the hospital to an outpatient environment. Where we used to have to make rounds in the hospital, we were getting RVU credit for that time that we spent making rounds and seeing patients. And even though we have saved the system money by moving patients into outpatient settings, we shot ourselves in the foot in a way because those RBU credits for the hospital stay no longer apply. 